Hello YouTube and welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, what I'll be showing you today is how to make a scope paint. I haven't made a tutorial in a while, but I have a lot of uh, requests for tutorials over the past couple of months. You know, I've been super busy. I've been traveling a lot. I've been in school, you know, work, everything. I've just been really, really busy. But um, I got a little time and I'm just trying to address one of my requests here, which is one of my first requests. Um, I emailed this person back and said, have you figured out how to do this yet? They said no, so I'm making this uh, tutorial how to make a scroll paint. You know, instead of having like, let's say you want to have multiple contents on your site, and instead of having it like all the way down to your page, you want to save some real estate, you want to save some space, that so you can stick something else on here, where you give the user a scrollability, so they can read other stuff in between your files. So you give them the ability to scroll. So, and that's what I'll be showing you guys how to make today. So, let's go. I've written all the code. It's just, it's just very simple, simple code. You know, if we, this is just div tags down here. This is just one div tag that holds a bunch of content in a paragraph tags. That and a paragraph tags is what scrolls. So, let's run through the code real quick. Uh, we have an original title tag that comes in every code. You know, this comes default in Dreamweaver. If you're using Dreamweaver, and we have a jQuery library. Uh, that JavaScript file here. So it's right here in this jQuery file. Just go to jQuery.com, download that. You don't have to though. It will be in the dis in the link that I'm gonna place in the description for you guys to download this zip package. So with everything that I have right here and everything works. So it was scroll pane dot j uh, scroll pane js, which is a JavaScript file that tells that, sh that um controls this and how it scrolls and everything, which is a the file right here that I have. I open it up for for beginners. I you don't have any reason to mess with this. Advanced users who knows how to tweak this around, you can go ahead and tweak this out how you want. Like I said, everything is already created for you. But you know, it's just a bunch of functions that tells this what to do. So anyway, let's shut this down. Go back in here. We have our body tag, and all we specify in our body tags are just fonts. You know, it's font and font size and background color. And the background color in our body tag would be right here. That's just what we specify in the background tag. We don't. I decided not to use an external CSS. You guys can use that if you want, and then just link to it. But I decided not to. Um, down here we have a scroll pane, and our, our scroll pane is this. This little part right here. That's our scroll pane. So. Her scroll pane, all I specified, 600 pixel wide, 410 pixels high, overflow, auto. That's all I did with our scroll pane right there. And so you guys can feel free to mess around with that. All this is a scroll pane container where, you know, it says Z index equal 1, overflow hidden, position relative, and padding right is 20 pixels. And for beginners, your padding is just from here to here. That's space between the cursor and the, and the scroll pane. So that's all that is. jQuery container, no, I've done it, already done the container. Uh, the paint track, which is this thing right here, that's your paint track. If we had had nothing there, if we had had just one thing there, no, nothing to scroll, that track would be as large as this is, like from here all the way down to here. So, anyway, or this is not here anymore, so I can take that out. You know, I put that in earlier, but that's not there anymore. But it, uh, a scroll pin drag, you know, it just says it's absolute and background color that it specified, cursor pointer and overflow. You guys can feel free to mess around with these. These are just the corners that are rounded right here. So if you want it more rounded, you could have a higher number and it will be more rounded for you guys. And, you know, as well as the radius right here as well. So all that is, this is a scroll pin track. This, no, actually this one, sorry guys, this one is this right here that round it has right here that's that one and then this one the radius is this one so anyway if you free to mess around with those and like I said we're done with codes for now all these are just background colors paddings and blah 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 the whole nine yards so feel free to mess around with those if you want okay now we get down to a uh, whoops we can delete this one as well the section tag it doesn't I took that out as well so that's not there anymore either down here, all we have is a div tag that says uh, div equals section, class equals scroll pane. And that's all you need to do for all your div tag if you need to scroll is to specify a class of scroll pane. That's all you need to do. So now that we specify that, and then inside your class, we have some p tags, which is one p tag starts here and it ends here. And inside here, I have the YouTube video embedded. So you guys can do the p tag. Let me go in here and, you know, 
and then there's another p tags right here which I'll delete this one just so you guys can see what I mean about the p tag I'll cut this out and all this is, is a paragraph tag that's all they are so you'd have a p tag like this and then in between your p tags you you put what you want in there so I'm just going to paste that thing back in there and it will it will scroll through that as well so let's save this out and it would be, should be the exact same thing as this, but I'm going to close this out just to show you. Hit F12 to preview in my browser. Uh, let's save all. Let's preview and why not? Preview in Safari. And this is what we get. It should load up here in a second. There we go. So you can scroll through different contents and it fires off that Dre query that we specify so your user can read, you know, whatever they want to read. So. Here we go, you can play one of the videos if you like and watch them. You know, it will come out just as good. So that's how you make a scroll pen, guys. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to email me and send me a message here on YouTube and I'll do my best to answer it. I'm not gonna say I can uh I'll answer it all the time, but I'll try to answer you guys at least. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. So my friend here will ask me how to do this. This is how you do this. I hope this will help you out in your project and your web design. So all I can say, guys, thanks. Happy coding. See you guys later.